Hello, you are welcome to solve this math problem, which is 2 power of x plus 4 power of x plus 8 power of x is equal to 155. To find the value of x from this equation, so from our problem, which is 2 power of x plus, from here 4, we want to make 12 same base like this base of 2, so 4 is same as 2 power of 2, then bracket this power of x plus 8, 8 is same as 2 power of 3, then bracket this power of x is equal to 155. Then in the next step, here we'll make 2 power of x in common, so it will be 2 power of x plus, from here to make 2 power of x, we'll take power of x inside the bracket, power of 2 outside the bracket, so it will be 2 power of x bracket, power of 2 outside the bracket, plus into here, we'll take power of x inside, power of 3 outside. So it will be 2 power of x bracket, power of 3 outside the bracket is equal to 155. Then in the next step, now from here into here in the left side, 2 power of x is common. So we'll let y is equal to 2 power of x. Then our equation will be y, then plus y square then plus y power of 3 is equal to 155. Then from here, we'll take this 155 into the left side. So we'll start with, with the largest power, which is this y power of 3, then plus this y square, then plus this y. We'll take this into this side to be minus 155 is equal to 0. Then in the next step, we'll check which value will satisfy this equation. If we check for y is equal to 1, here this 155 is largest number. So when we substitute y is 1 here, it will not be equal to 0. When we substitute 2, also is not equal to 0. 3 also is not equal. 4 is not equal. For 5, it will satisfy because here 155 is the factor of... One, one of the factor of 155, it is 5. So let's check for y is equal to 5. So into here, let's substitute 5. So it will be 5 power of 3, then plus 5 power of 2, then plus 5 minus 155. Is it equal to this 0? Now from here, 5 power of 3, it is 125, plus 5 square, it is 25, plus this 5 minus 155 here. 125 plus 25 is 150. 150 plus 5 is 155. 155 minus 155, it is equal to this 0. So, one of the value of y, it is 5. Now, let's check for other factors. Now, from this here, this quadratic, this cubic equation, it can be solved by grouping and factorization because one of the factors, it is 5. So, here, from our problem, which is y power of 3 plus y power of 2 plus y minus 155 is equal to 0. Then from here, 155. 155 is the product of factors which are 31 times 5. It is 155. Then from here, this y, y will split it. So from y, it will be equal to, we'll use this 31. So y is equal to 31y minus 30y. And from here y square, y square is equal to, we'll split here y square. So y square will use this 5. So y square is equal to 6y square minus 5y square. Now by grouping and factorization from this our problem, which is y power 3 plus y square, we'll start by this negative 5y square then plus 6y square so here it will be minus 5y square then plus 6y square then plus y plus y here we start minus 30y then plus 31y so plus y here it is minus 30y plus 31y then this minus 155 is equal to this 0 then from our equation here, into this y square, y power of 3 minus 5y square, 
y square is common so we take out of bracket then y power of 3 divided by y square it is y minus 5y square divided by y square it will be minus 5 bracket then from here and here we'll take here it will be plus we'll take 6y out of bracket which is common so 6y square divided by 6y it is y minus 30y divided by 6y it will be minus 5 bracket then from here this and this will take 31 out of bracket then 31y divided by 31 it is y minus 155 divided by 31 it will be minus 5 bracket is equal to this 0 then in the next step from here y minus 5 is now in common so we'll take y minus 5 bracket out of bracket this divided by this it is this here this y square this divided by y minus 5 which is this so it will be plus 6y then this divided by y minus 5 it is this to be plus 31 bracket is equal to this 0 now from here we have two solutions whereas this first solution which is y minus 5 is equal to 0 and this second solution y square plus 6y plus 31 is equal to 0 then from this solution we take minus 5 into this side so it will be y is equal to 5 so this is the first value first first value of y into this our uh, problem which you already get by checking this y is equal to 5 now to solve from here let's check this if we will give a real solution so we'll use the discriminant formula which is the discriminant is equal to b square minus 4ac whereas a is equal to coefficient of y square which is 1 and b is equal to coefficient of y which is 6 and c is equal to constant which is 31 so to be discriminant is equal to b, b square to be 60 square minus 4 times a is 1 times c is 31 so it will be discriminant is equal to 60 square 60 square it is 36 minus 4 times 31 here to be 4 this times this here it is 12 now we can see this is greater than this so the value to be negative so this value is less than 0 so if the discriminant is less than 0 then no real solution we want to get the real solution because here y is equal to 5 is not our answer we are supposed to find the value of x now we we'll recall but before we let that y is equal to 2 power of x so from y is equal to 2 power of x that's why the answer should be real value so as you can compare these two solutions so it will be this which is 2 power of x is equal to 5 then from here we'll apply log in both sides so it will be log of 2 power of x is equal to log of 5 then this power of x will move to the base so it will be x log of 2 is equal to log of 5 then we'll divide by log of 2 and here divide by log of 2 so this and this will cancel then it will be x is equal to log of 5 over log of 2 is same as log of 5 base of 2 therefore this is the final answer for the value of x in this our problem thank you for watching don't forget these steps to miss out subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video bye bye